So finally, we're looking at the expected value of the number of red balls. So if you played this game over and over and over many, many times, what's expected to happen? How many red balls are you expected to see on average? So let's list the outcomes of the game. And the outcomes are either zero red ball after two picks or one red ball after two picks or two red balls after two picks. Now, each one of those outcomes could have its own different probability. So having zero red balls happens in a different probability than having one red ball. And it's different than having two red balls. And what we are expected to do to find the probability or rather to find the expected value is to multiply the zero with the probability of it happening, the one with the probability of it happening, and the two with the probability of it happening. This was something we discussed in a previous section. So the expected value is going to be like this. OK, so now we can start by calculating the probabilities. So for the first one, the probability of getting zero red balls, that means we had a gray ball on the first choice on the first pick and a gray ball on the second pick. Let's look at our tree to figure out what that probability is. In the tree, the probability of getting a gray ball on the first choice and a gray ball on the second choice are, um, rep is represented on the last branch of the tree. That was 42 divided by 132. So that is our first probability. And now we need to add to it 1 times the probability of getting a single red ball. Now, a single red ball can happen from either choosing the first red ball and the second gray ball or vice versa, choosing a gray ball on the first choice and getting a, a, reg a red ball on the second choice. So let's look at our tree and figure out what those probabilities are. So here we have to choose a gray ball at first, followed by a red ball or vice versa. That's illustrated on this tree with this branch and this branch. So it's the blue and the green probabilities. And both of those are happening with probability 35 over 132. So again, we have two numbers there because we can have a gray ball at first and a red ball to follow or red ball at first and a gray ball to follow. I remember we're doing this experiment twice. We're choosing two different um, balls without replacement. And finally, for the last, so this plus sign is that last plus sign, and we have two times the probability of getting two red balls. So this means that we got a red ball on the first try and a red ball on the second try. So again, we can consult with our table to figure out or with our tree to figure out what that number is. In the tree, that's the very first branch, which says the probability is 20 over 132. So that's B1 and B2. So that means we got a ball one that was red and a ball two that was red. So 20 divided by 132. Putting everything into the calculator, I'm going to end up with five divided by six, which is roughly speaking 0 0.83. So on average in this problem, if you choose multiple balls and play the same ga game very, very often, then on average, you're going to see about 0 0.8 balls every time you play the game, uh, 0 0.8 red balls, that is.